right, so I just got caught up in a group of like a dozen people from Blue Ridge Hiking Club or something like that. They're out for a hike today. And then we almost got mauled by two dogs that are not on a leash. Man, it's a national park. Put your dog on a leash. I think the maximum length is six feet. There's dogs coming running down the trail, jumped up on one of the people in front of me. Not cool. What if that dog sees a bear? That dog's going after the bear. The bear's gonna maul the dog. The owner's gonna want the bear put down. Don't do it. If you're gonna bring your dogs out here, put them on a leash. End of rant. Not much of a view here on this side of the mountain. This is kind of looking east. Walk to the other side, see if there's a view over there. a blue blaze over to an overlook I think blue blaze That's an example of taking a side trail to a view. I think it was probably point two. And of course off the AT it's downhill point two. That was a spectacular view. Totally worth it. Now we climb back up to the AT. Um, that hiking group I ran into, they're uh, hiking twice a week and they're training for a hike, I think in May, through the Smoky Mountains. So that's pretty cool. So they're getting ready for that. That's pretty awesome. All right. Keep hiking up the hill to get back to the AT here, but if you're hiking Compton Peak, take the side trail to the west. Definitely worth it. All right, here comes some people now. Let me go. All right, now we're still hiking southbound on the Appalachian Trail. Appalachian Trail. Appalachian Trail. So many ways to say it. I think most of my life I said Appalachian. And then I've been corrected by a friend of mine so many times. But now I call it Appalachian Trail. Heck, we can even spell it phonetically. Anyway. Trail's beautiful, a lot of people out today, even though it's cold, it's sunny, it's beautiful. Just passed a few folks with their little kids, probably five years old, that's awesome. Get them out here, get them in the fresh air. We used to hike a lot when our kids were younger. We'd come up here and hike around. Hey, it's nice out. It's so good to be out of the house. I really miss hiking. I miss making videos for y'all. I 
that ruined us last year. And really now, it's just jacked so many things up. I never thought I'd see people hiking on a trail wearing a mask while they hiked. Not this guy. I wear one when I have to to keep other people happy. Out here, not happening. Yeah, it's supposed to be in the 60s all week this week. And like I said, I'm uh, looking forward to an upcoming backpacking trip with a uh, trail name Anubis. Uh, great guy, lives close to me. He's in Winchester. Just a great dude all around, knowledgeable. He had some uh, pretty significant health challenge while he was on the trail. Guy, honestly, like he'd even be alive. His uh, appendix burst. And uh, some other hikers, I think, got him to the road crossing or something, and they got him into town. Had to have emergency surgery. Off trail for a couple weeks to recuperate, and, and he came back out and kept getting it southbound. So uh, that's, that's grit, that's determination there. I don't, uh, I'm not sure I'd have the same grit. Obviously I didn't. <laughs> I had a thigh injury take me off the trail. So, all right, enough of that. Neat part of the trail here. We're uh, descending down to Jenkins Gap area. You can hear the road, uh, some road noise. It's a beautiful day though. Beautiful day. side trail out to Jenkins Gap. Now we're going to turn around and head northbound and go back toward Compton. So all in all it'll be about a six mile day. Not bad. Lots of people out there. spot room for several tents if you're coming northbound it's probably three-quarters of the way up Compton Peak which is right up there and it's on the left left side of the trail going northbound beautiful camp spot This is the view on the east side of the Appalachian Trail. Point two down, there's really nothing here. There's a, some kind of column, columnar rock formation. 
I'm not sure what it's called, a, a basalt formation or something, B-A-S-A-L-T, I'm not sure. Anyway, no views, I'm not going all the way down there. Just about to the parking lot. It is uh, 1300. The parking lot is now full, it looks like. There's a lot of people out today. A lot of people. But it's a beautiful spring day, so um, that's a good thing. Get out, get some fresh air, get some exercise. It was a good day, good hike. Enjoyed it. across the road here back to the parking lot. Snickers bar. <clears throat> Beautiful day. Let me apologize ahead. Uh, let me just go ahead and apologize now for the negative tone of this video. I didn't mean for it to be negative, but there were some things that people did out here today that, man, just stay home. You know, if you're going to be like that and act like that, and not control your dogs, not pick up your dog mess, stay home. Just good trail etiquette. All right, well, time to head down off the mountain, stop in town and maybe grab a soda, and uh, go home and check the beehive. We looked at them yesterday just from a distance and there weren't any flying around, so I'm afraid that we lost our hive. They had plenty of food, lots of capped honey. I don't know, so we're gonna go check that out today. It's warm enough that we can get in there and see. So, thanks for watching. Uh, keep an eye out for some new videos coming out. I got some adventures coming up, and I look forward to sharing them with you. So, thanks for watching. Take care.